Hi guys, it's Thomas here from CO2Base.com. Welcome to this week's Commitments of Traders review. Today we're going to have a look at the 33rd report of 2018. And as usual, I'm going to start off with the changes in commercial positions. Uh, before I start the review, don't forget Futures Trading Guides is our new service focusing on futures markets and FX Trading Guides obviously uh, focusing on Forex markets, but also on cryptocurrencies. So back to the review and starting off with our first market, which is the natural gas. We have a 24% change in commercials positions, 20 in large speculators. Uh, this can be considered a bearish COT change signal, suggesting there may be a decline early next week. Now, if we jump to the five year chart, you can see the COT extreme in a, in a wider time frame. Uh, which as you may see on the chart, we've just moved away from this relative bullish extreme that wasn't too strong, but still uh, affected the market, pushed prices higher. Uh, right now, I would uh, neglect looking at the COT extreme because it's it's not that obvious. We're more or less in between the two extremes, the, the bearish and the bullish. So uh, let's just move on and have a look at rough rice, which is our next market with a 19% change in commercial positions. Of course, here this is a bullish COT chain signal um, suggesting that the price of rough rice uh, may uh, increase early next week. Jumping to the five years chart, you can see that we are again uh, more or less in between the two extremes, maybe a bit closer to bearish extreme levels. As you may see, we had a few, uh, we had actually a bullish extreme uh, not long ago, uh, but since then uh, the extreme decreased and uh, and uh, we've witnessed uh, bearish extremes uh, uh, getting higher and higher. Still, I would be searching for even uh, better opportunities. So let's move on and see whether or not orange juice is providing that. Here we have, again, a bullish COT uh, change signal. But in comparison with rough rice, here we have prices definitely closer to the lows. Uh, I mean, lows um, considering the, the last uh, few days. Uh, so here we may have an even better risk reward trade if of course anybody would be considering one uh, jumping to a five years chart you can see that we're uh, we're a bit closer to the bearish extreme uh, you may see we had uh, some uh, pretty extreme bearish levels in the past few weeks and we haven't really moved away from those levels which of course uh, may conclude us um, uh, that uh, this uh, this decline that we've seen the past uh, two weeks may easily continue on in the next couple of weeks coming. Moving on to large speculators COT extreme, you can see we have actually all three markets that I'm going to open uh, for you in the second part of this review uh, have produced all time COT extreme in large speculators positions. In case of platinum, we have a 1,034 report extreme in commercials as well, which of course can be considered a, uh, an all-time extreme. It's pretty much over there. Uh, you can see commercials uh, net long, which is a, uh, an abnormal situation. Uh, if you if we open it, let's say a 15 years chart, you can see that it hasn't really happened uh, too often in the past. Uh, again, uh, or, or the opposite can be also concluded. Large speculators being that short is again extremely. Uh, uh, rare and of course underlines the huge stress levels in, 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 in platinum and of course all over in, in metal markets that can be witnessed as well. Moving on to the coffee market, all time extreme over there. We've been uh, mentioning coffee in the last few reviews. As you may see this extreme simply widened to even greater levels. All time extreme uh, not only in commercials but also in large speculators. So there's not much to add. I mean it's a pretty obvious situation. Uh, one thing's for sure, all-time extremes can be present in the market for quite some time before there's a, a reaction from the market. So I've, I've said this many, many times uh, in the past, and I think it's one of the most important remarks I can give you right now is uh, if you see this all-time sign, it does not mean you should rush into the market and, and start trading. You have to be patient because these extremes can can be there and, and, and widen and become even greater. Uh, before there's a reaction from the market. One thing's for sure, uh, this extreme is something that we've never witnessed in uh, COT history of coffee, so we, ha we should have our eyes on this market as well. Uh, New Zealand dollar is our last market for this review. Again, a uh, market with all-time COT extreme uh, in, in large speculators' positions. This is a huge bullish extreme, suggesting the New Zealand dollar uh, against the US dollar should be uh, considered a opportunity on the buy side. 
Uh, of course, if you look at the chart, you may see how well bullish extremes in the past sign uh, signaled uh, opportunities uh, to purchase um, uh, the New Zealand dollar. So that was all for this review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. Goodbye.